Hey, it's John with thenetguy.com, and I wanted to show you that the WiseCam company has taken a regular 1080p IP camera and has updated the firmware to allow you to use it as a wired webcam. So this is the wireless $19 WiseCam V2 security camera and with a USB A to A cable and a new firmware update that they've just released, you can use it as a pretty good webcam. I'll show you the quality of it now. I'm gonna put it on top of my monitor and get it close to what the other one looks like. So you can see here, I'm recording same picture from both of these. Now I've got a lot of experience tuning up the C920 Logitech 1080p webcam. That's one of my favorites, but you can't get a lot of those right now because they're sold out. Everybody's on Zoom trying to get on these web chats. If you've got your computer, maybe it's docked, maybe it's closed, your laptop, and it's using an external monitor so you can't use that webcam and you need a webcam. If you've got the WiseCam V2 or the WiseCam Pan, you can use either one of those with a new firmware update as a webcam. So let me show you what the Logitech camera looks like if I turn on the auto white balance and all of the settings back to default. They look almost the same. I would say that the Wise Cam company comes in pretty good. It's got a wider field of view as well. So you're getting a great camera for a really economical price. So what do you need to use a Wise Cam as a webcam? First, you'll need a USB A to A cable. That's a USB cable that has a normal end on both sides. Now, I didn't have one of those, but I was able to order one of those off Amazon. And the second item you need, which is a 32 gig SD card, you can use as minimum of a one gig SD card, but the 32 is ones I recommend. They're $7, the cable was $7. So for $14 with free overnight delivery, I was able to get the WiseCam 1080p IP camera to work as a wired webcam. The installation is really, really simple. You put the firmware on the SD card, you insert it, you plug the cable into the back while holding down the setup button. You hold that for three to six seconds while the little light on the back is blue. And then it'll switch to this blinking blue and yellow light. And that means it's done. And you now have a 1080p webcam. It would be great if they had some control software, but you know, I'm amazed that they were able to roll this thing out that quickly to help people out that maybe need a webcam in a pinch. So thanks again, WiseCam. Big fan of yours. And thank you for helping us all out that might need a webcam in this time. If you'd like to see more and maybe even how you can use a old cell phone, if you've got an old iPhone, how you can use this as a webcam right now, check out my channel, thenetguy.com. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of another one of my videos. This stuff takes a lot of time. It takes me about an hour for every minute of final produced video. So when people are asking me to subscribe and like their videos, they're doing it because it's a passion and they would really love to have you come back and watch their next creation. 